Earlier this week, I spoke to John Mafood of the Jamaica Manufacturers and Exporters Association, who expressed a great disappointment that the opposition had not voted to support. Doesn't the, the level of disapproval and, and disagreement with the opposition's position bother you? We would like for the business community to um, see it our way, but they have been consistent in supporting states of emergency over the last few years. Our position is that <coughs> we don't support it for a number of reasons. First of all, we feel um, that there's a strong argument that it is unconstitutional. There have been two cases in which the courts have ruled against it in a variety. One, tackling the regulations themselves. The other, more broadly, questioning the use of it in the way the government's been using it as a kind of routine crime-fighting tool. And <coughs> the truth of the matter is that despite its regular use over the last five or so years, the rate of murders in Jamaica has continued to spiral. And we feel it is really not an effective strategy because it focuses on detention rather than investigation and prosecution. The security forces, the leadership there have indicated that they have around 300 known persons of, who are extremely violent, they call them violence producers, that are really the targets. But you can't be taking away the rights of a million to two million people to tackle the, um, the, 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 the task of getting those 300 people or whatever that number is off the streets. They I, need I know you have a proposal for that and mm -hmm. I'm going to come to that sure. in just a moment. But before you leave the SOEs, mm -hmm. Gordon Robinson writing in the Glean on Sunday said he agreed with your position that the states of emergency provisions are not to be used as a crime fighting tool. But he said, what I find pathetic is that the opposition has been belly aching about this aspect of the abuse of SOEs for years, but has never sought to litigate the issue as it did with NIDS. As viewers probably know, the opposition went to court over the NIDS bill and it was declared unconstitutional. Gordon Robinson says for the umpteenth time, Mark Golding told MPs that the, M that the PNP had an opinion from eminent counsel lawyer on this since 2017. 19, so 2019. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So why not sue? Why not clear this up once and for all? Well, proceedings.